we are going to see the supplementary and the lesson is the woman on platform 8 this lesson was written by ruskin bond ruskin bond is an indian author of british descent he was born on 19th may 1934 in kasoli india he has written a number of novels and short stories his first novel is the room on the roof ruskin bond loved reading very much and he inculcated this reading habit from his father In this lesson, the author tells us how a 12-year-old boy named Arun became acquainted with a woman on platform 8. This is the picture of a school and Arun a 12 year old boy was studying in a boarding school. This is the picture of Ambala railway station and Arun was sitting on platform number 8 at Ambala station waiting for the northern bound train. He arrived at Ambala station early in the evening but he had to wait till midnight for his train. Most of the time Arun was walking up and down the platform. He was looking at the bookstalls and sometimes he used to feed the stray dogs with broken biscuits. Find two pictures. The first one is a vendor selling things and the second picture is a trolley. Arun saw the vendors selling curds and lemon, sweetmeat and even a boy selling newspaper. He also saw the trolleys but he was not interested to see these things on the busy platform. But he continued to stare across the railway tracks and felt very bored and lonely. You see the picture of a crowded platform and you find some people rushing to board the train and some trying to get off the train. In such a similar situation, Arun was caught in the rush and swept outside the station. He was tired of this game. So, to avoid this situation, he sat down on his suitcase and started looking at the railway tracks. Arun heard a soft voice close behind him. He looked up and saw a woman standing near him. She was lean and had a pale face and dark kind eyes. She did not wear any jewels but 
she was dressed very simply in a white sari both the woman in white sari and arun started conversing with each other arun liked her for the simplicity of her dress and for her soft voice he also liked the serenity of her face in this picture you find arun sitting on the suitcase next you see the woman in white sari and next you find a coolie the woman in white sari called the coolie to look after arun suitcase and then she took arun down the platform you find tea samosas and jalebi the strange woman took arun into the station dining room and ordered these eatables that is tea samosas and jalebis arun soon began to take interest in this kind woman arun was hungry and he ate as much as he could the woman on platform 8 started watching him eat and arun says that it was the food which strengthened their friendship and he says that it was under the influence of tea and sweets he began to talk quite freely with the stranger and he told her about his school his friends his likes and dislikes in this picture you see a man crossing the rail and running to the next platform similarly on platform 8 a boy leapt off the platform and ran across the rails taking a shortcut to the next platform the strange woman saw this and immediately clutched arun's arm arun looked up and saw fear and sadness pass across her face then the woman smiled reassuringly and took his hand again but still her fingers trembled against arun's arun and the strange woman reached the place where arun had left the suitcase there they met satish and his mother satish was arun's friend satish's mother was a large imposing woman who wore spectacles both arun and satish shook hands satish then introduced arun to his mother he told her that arun was the best bowler in the class
the station bell clanged. People who were waiting for the train began hustling about. Then they saw the train moving into the platform. As soon as the train stopped, Satish entered the compartment. Arun picked his suitcase and went into the compartment. Both Arun and Satish sat at the open window. Satish's mother and Arun's mother were standing outside the platform. Here you find three pictures. In the first picture, you find some passengers traveling on football. In the second picture, you find a man putting his head out of a moving train. And in the third picture, you find a man crossing the rails or taking a shortcut to go to the next platform. These are not safety measures and one should not follow these things. Satish's mother advises Satish not to jump on or off moving trains. She also tells him not to put his head out of the windows. And she also advised him not to eat any rubbish on the way. Satish's mother handed Satish a bag of fruit, a cricket bat and a box of chocolates. She told Satish to share the food with Arun. Then she stood back from the window to watch how Arun's mother behaved. Arun was conscious of Satish's mother staring at them. He started developing a sort of hatred towards Satish's mother. Here you find a picture of a railway guard and a picture of a crowded platform. The railway guard walked up platform 8 blowing his whistle for the train to leave. You find a small boy kissing his mother. In the same way, Arun leaned out of the window and kissed the woman in white sari. Satish bid goodbye to his mother. So also Arun waved his hand at the woman in white sari. Satish's mother was talking to her but she did not appear to be listening. Instead, she started looking at Arun as the train moved. She stood there on the busy platform and Arun watched her until she was lost in the crowd. Thus, the acquaintance with woman and Arun became firm and this led to the level of mother and son relationship. Anyway, the speaker 
or character in the given sentences. Tell me what is your name? The speaker is the woman in white sari. Are you all alone, my son? The speaker is the woman in white sari. Yes, I am going to school. The speaker is Arun. Never talk to strangers. Here, the speaker is Satish's mother. Goodbye, mother. The speaker is Satish. There are sentences on one side and answers on the other side. We have to complete the sentence by choosing the answers given in the box. The first sentence, Satish's mother handed to her son a box of chocolate. The train would come at 12 o'clock. The strange lady gave tea and samosas to Arun. Arun was sitting on platform number 8. Satish and Arun were 12-year-old boys.